In my house at the moment, we've started re-watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The films are great, with some incredible New Zealand landscapes and CGI. But really, it's the storyline that's made it last the test of time. Because it's a story that we see replicated throughout the ages, one that we implicitly seem to understand because we recognise its symmetry in our own lives. An event occurs, a character journeys from what they know into the unfamiliar, leaving behind their normal life. On their travels, they build relationships, learn about the world, and realise something new about themselves, before overcoming obstacles and challenges and eventually coming back to a new normal. Whether it's Jason and the Argonauts, Arthur and his knights, or Harry Potter and his friends, the story unfolds time and again in much the same way. The Bible too is full of these journeys led by God that bring transformation within circumstances and within people. God calls Abraham to travel hundreds of miles from his home to start the nation of Israel. Moses leads God's people out of slavery in Egypt, performing miracles and wandering through the desert for 40 years before they finally reach the promised land. Now I'm aware that there is a certain irony to talking about epic journeys when we are entering our sixth week of lockdown, but just because we aren't going anywhere doesn't mean we aren't on a journey. Whatever you're doing at the moment, whatever your lockdown life looks like, we've all moved from what we know into a place that is unfamiliar, where we don't know what the path looks like moving forward. We've had to let go of a lot, and we've all certainly had challenges to face, whether that's fear or grief or loss, whether you're missing your family or you're struggling because you can't get time away from them, or whether we've been separated from the things that used to define us, like our communities, our hobbies, or our jobs. But much like in these stories, facing these obstacles teaches us about ourselves and causes growth, both within us and in the world around us. In the book of Romans in the Bible, we read about having a joyful confidence through trials as our endurance refines and changes our character and ultimately leads us to a new and greater hope. And we're already seeing that hope manifest as communities reform between neighbours, people who are walking this journey alongside us, as we watch and experience the best that's been brought out in people and see acts of incredible kindness and love and charity everywhere, as we're learning to help strangers again and also to accept help from strangers, both of which can be difficult and scary as our eyes are open to those in society that we can't do without, our key workers in all industries, and how grateful we should be for them. And as we realise that the things that much of what we thought was essential in our cluttered lives, actually we can do without. So as we continue this journey together, even though we can't see the end, I'd encourage you to ask God what changes, internally and externally, he's highlighting in your life, where he's refining your character, and where your own journey and lockdown is leading you to a new hope. God bless, friends. Take care.